Today we'll be talking about interior of the earth. Now in this topic we'll be talking about the sources of information about the interior of the earth, how indirect sources give us information about the earth's information. We'll also be talking about the structure of the earth and also different types of volcanoes and also volcanic landforms. Now let me first begin with the sources of information about the interior of the earth. Now as you are aware it is not possible to have information about the earth's interior since the radius of the earth is almost 6370 kilometers and it is not possible to go into the interior of the earth and find out what earth is all made up of. Now even though the information which we have about the interior of the earth, we only have it through the direct sources of information that is through mining or drip drilling or uh, this is only possible only up to some kilometers. Those uh, areas where the digging has taken place into the inside interior of the earth that has only been possible up to a few kilometers. Mines, gold mines in Africa are dug up to 3 to 4 kilometers and they just provide us of information about a fraction of the interior of the earth. So we have to rely on other indirect sources of information of the interior of the earth such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes and, and other informations derived indirectly from the earth's interior. Now when we talk about the indirect sources which give us information about the earth's interior, they are temperature, pressure and density variations which happen as we move from the surface to the core. Meteors also provide us some information about the earth's interior. The other indirect sources which provide of information about the earth's interior are gravitation, magnetic field and seismic activity. The other important uh, and the most important reliable source is the earthquake which provide of information. Now as we know an earthquake is the shaking of the earth. It is a natural event caused uh, due to release of energy uh, which generates waves that travel through the earth and the point where the energy is released is called the focus of an earthquake and the point exactly at 90 degrees on top of the earth is considered as epicenter. Now earthquake waves give send waves on the surface of the earth and if you can see this diagram it gives us the earthquake wave diagram how the waves on the seismograph uh, with respect to P waves, S waves and surface waves. And when we analyze these waves, these give us an information about how different layers of the earth behave with respect to these waves and which are the source uh, from where these waves have basically originated because P waves, S waves reflect and they behave differently with respect to different layers. Now if we have a look at this diagram, this is the diagram about the structure of the earth. Now it is the top layer is called as the crust of the earth. It extends from 0 to 100 kilometers from the top and uh, then we have the uh, mantle which is up to 2900 kilometers and then there is the solid interior core. Now this diagram makes it amply clear. We have three main uh, layers of the earth, the crust, mantle and the core. And as we move from crust to the core, the density goes on increasing. The thickness of the crust is 70 uh, kilometers uh, in the Himalayan region and it is less thicker when it comes to the oceanic zone. The mean density of the material in the uh, oceanic crust is 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. 
when it comes to the mantle this is the portion of uh, the interior of the earth beyond the crust and uh, the upper portion is called as asthenosphere and its thickness ranges from 10 to 200 kilometers. Thereafter comes the core, it has uh, the mantle boundary is located at the depth of 2900 kilometers. The outer core is liquid state while as the inner core is solid. The outer core is uh, composed mainly of uh, uh, sial that is silicon and aluminum. The uh, uh, that is the top layer, sial, then comes the cyma and in the interior is the knife that is mostly it is composed of nickel and iron. This is one the main source of the information about the indirect information. The another indirect information is through volcanic eruptions which take place from the interior of the earth. Now as we know a volcano is a place where gas, ashes and uh, the molten rock material uh, erupt from the earth's interior. Now this mantle contains a weak zone called as asthenosphere and from there we have the eruption of this uh, volcanic matter, the magmatic material which comes out. When it reaches the surface of the earth it is called as lava. There are different types of volcanoes. Uh, the main types we can identify are the shield volcanoes, composite volcano, then we have caldera, uh, flood basalt and mid-oceanic ridge volcanoes. The uh, shield volcanoes common example for them is the Hawaiian volcanoes. For the composite uh, the volcanoes they often have explosive eruptions and so far as caldera is concerned they have collapsed depressions. These, uh, the flood basalt example, the most extensive of them is the Deccan Trap region and the mid oceanic ridge, the most important example being the mid Atlantic ridge. Uh, so far as volcanic landforms are formed uh, are concerned, the lava is released uh, during the volcanic eruptions and these uh, eruptions when they move towards the surface of the crust, these uh, begin to cool down. And during the process some volcanic uh, landforms would be formed on the surface of the earth and some would be formed inside the crust as well. Those which form uh, inside are called as intrusive uh, forms and uh, those which form on the surface are called as extrusive. Depending on the location and the cooling of the lava igneous rocks are called as volcanic rocks that is those which cool on the surface of the earth and those which form, uh, cool inside the crust they are called as plutonic uh, uh, rocks. Now let us have a look at uh, this diagram which uh, uh, gives a brief about uh, the formation of the volcanic landforms. Now you can see this is formed inside the crust and here volcanic uh, eruptions have crossed from both the sides. This leads to formation of dikes, sills, batholiths, then uh, and those which reach on the surface of the earth they are in the form of cinder cones, lava mesas and ash flows. This was a brief. Now let us uh, recap what we all did in this part of the program. We talked about the sources of information about the earth's interior that is the direct and indirect sources of information that is in the form of volcanoes, earthquakes and other magnetic fields and those which give about the information about the earth's interior. We also talked about earthquakes and we discussed about in brief the structure of the earth, the crust, mantle and the core. We also talked about different types of volcanoes and in brief about the different forms of uh, volcanic forms of uh, landforms formed by the volcanic eruptions. Thank you.